don't know how this game is going to go now. Ah, oh, that was so poor, so so poor. Hassan works his ass off. He, it's one of those players who will give you everything he's got. He hasn't got much, but he'll give it to you. Having um, Kennedy and Yedlin on that right hand side, it makes sense. We're not going to have too many chances, but when we do break, we need to break quick. Positive start from Newcastle. They've hit us twice and twice. We've dealt with it quite well. Come on, Newcastle. <laughs> you can't get excited for a corner against Liverpool. I don't know when you can. I tell you what, we're not doing too badly here. You go and get it in the box. Good cross. Is it? <sighs> <laughs> Hoshley uh, headed the board downwards. It's meant to be one of his strengths as well. Lovren, friggin' defender. That strike. Quite a soft goal to give away yet. It was a good strike. Just don't know how this game is going to go now. I love Lascelles a bit, but that was poor. Or, there should have been more communication at the back. Someone telling him, just leave it. And Lovren, how much space did he have in the middle? He just needs to get that mistake out of his mind now. He's going to have a long day. I didn't want Liverpool getting a stride. This is what's happened. They look so relaxed, Liverpool. Well, free kick on this right hand side with Richie swinging it inwards. He's, it's in! It's. Oh, he flicked on. One on one, Marnie there. Depravka. Honestly, that. That was such a good save. Firmino to Shakiri. <laughs> Shakiri, 25 yards out. And the volley. If you couldn't tell, that went over. Hell of a tackle from Hayden and Henderson there coming out on top. Both players with a stud showing. But proper old fashioned tackle. Hayden's been told to go in hard, I think. Hayden's one of these players. Once he gets that yellow card, he's so ineffective because that's his game over with. He has to be careful for the rest of the game. So he hasn't had that yellow yet, so he's still quite effective. <laughs> so, possession, 62 to 38 for Liverpool. Corners, 2 to 1. Shots on target. Newcastle, 2 shots on target to their 1. And they've had three shots off target to their one. It's not been one as one side as people thought. How is that not a free kick? Oh, it's offside. Just hide the knack around the deer. Palace to be Cardiff. Still nil nil. Arsenal would be bright. Liverpool hitting us on the break. Firmino. Turn a pace. And D Army again. D Army, well done, son. The army there with a clean interception against Wijnaldum in the middle. I mean, you've got to take the small positives in this game. And the army, he's been quality so far. He's been our best player on the sheer fact the amount of times he intercepts the ball and breaks up play. The army again. Go on, son. On the edge of the box, took the ball clean off Firmino. I fucking love the army. Corner from Shakira on this left hand side. Goes in with pace. And what a header away. What a header away. Go on, Miss Sells. Been top notch since the goal. Him and Fernandez made a good partnership. Same as him and Shah, really. The best three defenders we've had in a long time. And we've still got Lejeune to come back. 30 seconds left and 1-0 isn't too bad 
we we even unlucky to be fair. This should be nil nil this game. And I, I, I tell you what, I forgot about that Hosselu chance. Tell you what, that's on target just inside the ports that's in. So we're unlucky to be behind here. And I'm so proud of the way we've came out and played this game. I was expecting a lot worse from Liverpool. A lot worse. I'm actually looking forward to the second half now. That's so soft. That is the softest penalty you will ever see this season. He ran past Salah. Literally did that. That's a grab. He did that and then let his hand go and Salah was clever enough just to go down and the referee is well, well and truly being conned here. That was so poor. So, so poor. And Graham Scott, I'm sorry mate, you've been conned. You've been absolutely conned. <sighs> Friggin' hate referees in the Premier League against us. We get absolutely screwed over time after time. The way Salah distorted his body when he felt that hand on his shoulder was criminal. When you don't have the confidence that the referee is going to actually protect you, then you f Salah, who just wasn't in the game, all of a sudden has a goal from absolutely nothing from conning the ref. To, to lose against Liverpool is no shame, but to lose in a manner where you feel you've been hard done by, it's, it's so hard to take. It must be so demoralising for the players, knowing how well they've done, to be 2-0 down from what can only be described as a player cheating the ref, because that's exactly what it is. I can almost guarantee if it had it been the other end, we wouldn't have got jack shit there. something that we can't dwell on it's something that you need to take the positives out of and the positives are we are a team that can play football at 1-0 down we we were playing at some parts a better football the first half Rafa did wonders with his team he got them playing as a unit they were passing the ball along the ground against Liverpool when just hoofing it we had chances, we were defending well, if we had a better quality of player, Rafa could do so much with this, with this club. Part of his wants to say Liverpool haven't really played to their potential today, and yet it's 4-0. On a side note, um, Liverpool fans have treat Rafa with utmost respect. And all the comments and that on Twitter have been so classy. Uh, it's a difficult period at the moment, but the saving grace is that we've got a safety cushion of five points, I think, down from um, the relegation zone. And thankfully, there's three worst teams in the league. So I'll only save and grace. If you've enjoyed this content, it takes us a long time to edit through all the shit I talk. Because I, I edit out a lot. Because I do talk a lot of shit as well. Like I spent a good 10 minutes blasting Graham Scott, the referee. And I'm going to have to edit out a lot of that. Because it's just ramblings of a madman. And if you also liked it, could you subscribe? Always have a good new year. All the best for 2019. Ta-ra.